See, I said they want to go back to a whole, like, feudalism system. And, and, and look, look, it's just like United Nations proposing digital ID system tied to bank accounts and mobile payment platforms. You know, like PayPal or Cash App, which, you know, pretty soon, um, Fed something, I can't remember the name of it, but, um, Fed Go or Fed whatever. It's supposed to be... Uh, well, I know it's not whatever, so I know you don't know, I know you don't remember what it is, phone. You're in the same boat with me. Stop flying. But yeah, but it's whatever. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's supposed to be launching because, like, the government, I guess they think that they deserve a cut when you get paid, which is, like, if I'm paying someone my money for a service they're doing for me why the fuck does the government need why does the government think that they have the right to take a cut out of everything everybody does just because we live here yeah we pay rent but there are some people with a lot more money than us that, that haven't been paying rent period in fact they quit their jobs and now like they just get to sit on all their money and the rest of us just we have to pay the extra to help like the fuck and now you want to take more united is just proposing a digital ID system that would directly connect to people's bank accounts and payment apps. A comprehensive new policy agenda from UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres details an identification network designed to digitalize and streamline the process of verif verifying people's identities on a global scale. I.e., they want to know where your money is, but they're not going to check people who have money. They don't want anybody having money that they don't think deserves to have money is what it is. The proposal is outlined in a section dedicated to global digital cooperation and sustainable development goals. Digital IDs linked with bank or mobile money accounts can improve the delivery of social protection coverage and serve to better reach eligible beneficiaries. Who is the, what beneficiaries? Digital technologies may help to reduce leakage Errors and costs in the design of social protection programs, according to Hill. Why is the UN worried about whether things are protected or not? You guys don't normally give a shit. It doesn't matter if the money's scammed out or whatever, eventually it gets back in their pockets anyway, so why the fuck would it even matter? It doesn't matter uh, if a scam artist has the money or if it's a commoner. It always goes back to their pockets anyway, so why the fuck does it matter? I don't understand this thought process right here it always goes back to them it's always their money so it's like why are they worried about protections and who the beneficiaries is and all that like i'm like are, are like are we really supposed, like, i don't know it, it, like, it's all just lies or whatever this proposal follows a move by the world economic forum to explore a system that would track and verify human identities using biometrics mm-hmm the forum has teamed up with Swedish biometrics company's fingerprint cards and is exploring blockchain-based digital ID platforms that put privacy at the top of all major priorities. Put privacy at the top, but have something that links directly to you. Like, it, like let, let's be clear. Uh, pretty soon, they're going to need a blood sample in order to log in on a web browser is, is where this is starting to fucking go. They refuse to count the internet as a utility, but you but you really can't get a job without it. You really can't do much of anything without it. You can't take classes without it. You can't do this. You can't do that. There's actually a lot of things you can't do um, in this digital age anymore, in case you didn't realize. Because I didn't realize either. There's a lot of shit. A lot of shit. But it's just like, why do you, like, isn't it bad enough you try to steal everyone's personalities through that Facebook political shit years ago? Like, y'all know about that, right? When they were, like, literally engaging with users, with these AI bots, and those AI bots literally, like, were learning their personalities just to come off more um, realistic and more human-like, right? But when you really talk to an AI, you realize they don't talk like people at all. They're still dumb as fuck. Like, it, it, it's just, it's like... It, I can't even explain it, but it's just like, you just tell the difference between them and a human being. It's just, you can't let it go. Like, there's just something about it, especially if there's footage of them, like video and shit. There's always something there where it's just like, are you a real person? Like, are you real? Like, you, what if you start asking that question? They're not a real fucking person. Like, you know, you think the dead are scary? 
Well, I don't know. I guess it all depends on how long everyone's going to be here. But, you know, it's like whatever. But it's just like the news propagation itself. But this was actually interesting. This one actually caught my attention. And I don't know if this will actually be a thing, but it makes a lot of sense because I've been hearing this shit a lot. The UN notes that, that despite the rapid advance of technology around the world, more work is needed to provide equal access to the digital revolution and to reverse ever-growing gaps in wealth distribution. Oh, wow. Well, okay, yep. Yeah, okay, they're mad they're not getting their cut. Digital technology has led to massive gains in productivity and value, but these benefits are not resulting in shared prosperity. The wealth of those in the 1% is growing exponentially. Between 1995 and 2021, they accounted for 38% of the increased global wealth, while the bottom 50 accounted only for 2%. Okay, digital technologies are accelerating the concentration of economic power in an even smaller group of elites and companies. The combined wealth of technology billionaires, 2.1 trillion in 2022, is greater than the, the annual gross domestic products of more than half of the group of the 20 economies. Okay, but why do you need everybody to have a thumbprint to get paid just so you can get a cut? Why don't you get that money from the people who are actually making the money instead of making everybody subject to this? Hopefully, they're only talking about the wealthy, but I don't think so. I, I really don't. What's the comment section say? I can't understand when people say they don't believe in God and the Bible's fake. What the fuck are you talking about? No one even came in on what the fuck you're talking about. Biblical prophecy is being revealed before our eyes. He was saying there would be wars and rumors of wars. Look at all the wars that's going on and the talks of political nuclear attacks. It's all it's all falling into place in the talks of digital IDs, marks of the beast. Without one, it'll not be able to buy or sell. What the fuck did that even come from? You ain't making rules for everybody now. Right? It's like, when did that happen? Now you know why Trump pulled this out. But hey, your vote, you voted for it and here it comes. So you didn't want us to control personal bank accounts to equitably redistribute our savings accounts through the world, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck the idea and the W-E and the WIF. Is that supposed to be the West, but like talking like Elmer Fudd or some shit? Like what the fuck is that? We are not opening our bank accounts or any other aspect of our lives. And I'm a middle class ass buster to achieve my goals for those who are already being supported by U.S. through welfare programs become more prosperous off of us. Is there anyone who thinks this is a good idea? If you do, get in the boxcar. Fear for tactics don't work on me. There you go. You get a like from me. Maybe we can tattoo numbers on people. Put them in camps if they don't comply. But first you have to take their guns. Damn. United Nations can go fuck themselves. Am I not wrong? But when, did the, but when the UN takes control, doesn't that mean that martial law takes over as well? Is that true? Also, why is the UN trying to tell people what to do? I don't give a fuck that we're all supposed to be united under a nation. When did everybody... Who, when did people go around? I don't remember being asked. I don't think anyone remembers being asked. I think it's weird that all this is happening now. This is what Trump warned you about, people. Mm. They made a movie like that. It's called In Time. Hmm. Now, do I think this is actually going to happen? I don't know if it would, and I'm not sure if that would make sense, because I would have to get everyone to comply with that. And the implication would take a good, like, year or so, you know? I figure, like, how long did it take for them to make a vaccine that didn't work, you know? Hopefully we'll have the same result here where, like, they fuck it up, but then again, it's that's late. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. This whole thing is, it, like, I'm surprised they are telling us that we have to get that Ancestry.com shit. Um, 
you know, that's like 0.1% accurate. Yeah, fun fact. Um, if you ever do those DNA test kits, they literally don't work the way that you think they do. All they do is assess uh, the DNA from your dad and your mom, and that's it. That's as far back as it can go. It's 0.1% accurate. No, 0.01% accurate. My bad. My bad. Like that 10%. No. <laughs> There's no 10 It's one per... It, it, it's not even like a... a, a f it's barely even a hundredth of a fraction accurate. Thank you for coming to my hex talk. But yeah, there, there's little talks to this right now. I like looking at news articles, honestly. Because then, like, I could just sit here. No, Thursdays, you're... What? What happened in Maine? What happened in Maine? Why the fuck is that? Why? Motherfucker, I was reading that. Maine becomes third state this year to pass legislation prohibiting utilities from charging ratepayers for political activities. Why is the electric company asking for contributions? Investor-owned utilities for target customers for lobbying, trade association, and chambers of commerce dues, charitable contributions, and public relation expenses. Pro provisions to prohibit utilities from recovering contributions or gifts to why? Why is the electric ch company? <laughs> why is there an electric company doing this shit? Oh, roommates closed. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. It was like nine hours ago. Where the fuck is that? Yeah, well, that sucks. That sucks. Most snake-infested lakes in West Virginia. Why? I'm not going there, at period. I'm, I'm going to just assume they all are snakes. Fuck them. Fuel arrangements for linemen from West Virginia. This is local. Let's see. Let's go to sports. The Warriors are about to make a huge trade. I have no idea who that is. Is that a TikTok video? No. What the fuck? Amber Heard bounces back with powerful new film. What the fuck does this got to do with sports? Boxy chip. Okay. Since message to transgender. Oh, God. You're good with that. Dion out of surgery. Icon downplays amputation. Oh, my God. Game of Thrones star. Wait, loss. Who is it? Hodor? Trans boxer. Looks up victory in third. Oh, well, there you go, man. There you go. Look, there's one that could, like, it knock him the fuck out. This is starting to get pretty alarming. What the fuck? Oh, someone's pulling the Christian. What the f Why are we threatening Mark Zuckerberg? That lizard robot motherfucker. What is with all this transgender sh It Okay, so look at right. It, it, here's the thing. Like, it, it, there, it, there seems to be a high influx of, um, in a lot of news articles, especially with sports where they want to talk more about, like, the whole transgender issue. But it's very apparent they're not talking about all these athletes that just happen to be collapsing out of nowhere with different varying conditions. Out of nowhere. I, 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 like... What is he like? Is, he, is that his dick? I don't fucking care. That's a Daily Mail anyway. Ooh, I want to see that. Once again, is this TikTok? Are you gonna play? Okay, well that was gay. I don't care no more. Mm. You have injuries you can't overcome because you're getting your freak on. That's the zen moment of the day, y'all. That's the zen moment of the day. Remember that. Hmm. Who's getting lynched? What? And that's crazy because I know that there is a whole bunch of people in the athletic world, who are having health issues. But apparently, there are other things that are important. What's going on in science? What's going on in science? What's science? It's a cannabis compound inside a totally different plant. What plant? Can I grow it? I wasn't interested. Oh, I might get that out of
I'd rather have the THC, but whatever. Mm. Ooh, this is interesting. Live science. Solar maximum could hit us harder and sooner than we thought. How dangerous will the sun's crack be? 